So thanks for joining us, Maka. Uh, Prescott Cables won City Liverpool won in the, in the derby. What's your initial thoughts on the on the results? Um, how we played first half was probably good points, isn't it? Yeah. So on reflection, I think they were the better team in the first half. They were all over us. We changed our shape the second half. Attacked them a little bit more. We were a bit more on the front foot, a bit more aggressive because that's how they was. Um, they were full value for the one 0 goal at the, at that point. But then I think we grew into the game. So from about sixty minutes onwards, I thought we we looked like we had a little bit more virus, a little bit more shape, a bit more intent to go forward. And I say we scored our goal. I don't know what minute it was, um, but I believe we could have had one earlier on that. That was over the line. I don't know. Um, but look, we haven't got we haven't got far or anything have we at this level. So um, no, it is what it is. On reflection, probably a good point, and I'll take that. Um, if you asked me to earlier on today, I want three points, but not many teams are going to come here in this, um, we call it hostile environment. Um, not many teams are going to come here and face the barrage of abuse that we did and the hostile environment that we did. So football's football, but all jokes aside, it was different. And I was going to say, come, just, just coming on to it, obviously, you know, it, it is a derby game, you know, passions are, passions are high, yeah. but there is a line, and was that well, line crossed? There's a line, look, we all like banter and all that, we're all... We're all up for banter, we all have a laugh in football and the barrage of abuse, not just myself, my staff, my players received, my wife received abuse, my sons, do you know what I mean? When you're getting called plays with kids on the sidelines and that that, that, that goes a little bit too far, doesn't it? Most um, definitely. I'm all for chance, do you know what I mean? And professional footballers get it all the time, but this level it's non-league football, isn't it? And at the end of the day, Prescott are a good club and... Things like that are happening, do you know what I mean? I just maybe they've been they've been spoiled by the minority there, do you know what I mean? And it's not nice, it's unsavory. My children heard that. Um my children are hearing that the mums are brass, that they're hearing things, it's just, which is wrong, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And I shouldn't be talking yeah, about definitely. this in the interview, but this is this is football and it, it's it's not nice. It's personal. And if that's not sorted, do you know what I mean, then things will go out of out of hand. But the club will deal with it and we'll leave it with them. Going back to obviously the football, um, done really well to get a point at the end of the day. Uh, Pete Wiley with an absolute bullet header, eighty eighth minute, had a chance to win it at the end as well. Kev Ellison with a sort of flicked header, almost you know come away with three points. Were you impressed with how your teams grown into the game, especially with the last half an hour? We've sort of took the game by the scruff of the neck. At the end, cables are more sort of playing for the, the play, match. playing on the counter, looking to slow things down, and yeah. we've sort of took the game to them. Yeah, it, that was the impressive side. A couple of subs come on and they changed it. I thought John Mack come on. I thought he give us a little bit of wit. He attacked them. Very with, direct uh, one. Very, as soon as you get the ball. Very positive on the front foot, and that's what we wanted. Um, Steely come on and was giving us that wit as well. And it was going go a little bit, but it needed to be because I don't think it was a pitch for playing football on it. It was a pitch for playing in certain areas of the pitch and being a bit more forthright. And I thought we'd done that and. Yeah, maybe on reflection, I, I'm, I'm probably being a little bit harsh on our team. Maybe we could have snatched the win, I don't know, but probably on reflection was a draw the right results. Probably. Yeah, I think I think on reflection after the after the sort of the first half performance especially, we sort of going into the game. We haven't obviously spoken about the two debuts yet. Mm. Uh, ben Barnes, he's made two really good saves. Mm. One as soon as we went one 0 down, he broke through again, stood up well, made a good save, and he's made a good two hundred save second half. So we he, Kept us in the game really there, hasn't he? He has. The, I thought the two of the debuts, um, I thought he'd done well. He, he's done very well. Jack was up against Carl Samber, who gave him a tough time at the start. But I thought Carl had the beating of him up until that goal. And then the deflection's gone in. And then Carl, um, sorry, Jack then just decided he, he's on the front foot a little bit and, and got from that, do you know what I mean? So, no, I was happy with the pair of them. I thought they, they improved us a little bit and they, they made us solid, do you know what I mean? And that's, that's not a... Chris has remained there anyone else that they've replaced because I think we've been good but yeah you could see we were a little bit more resilient tonight I, I thought I thought the back five were good at times um, it was just we conceded that goal probably at the was, wrong time they've got in the ascendancy was it coming? yeah they, they were having a few they were having a good period of pressure but I think we let them get on top of us we weren't on the front foot but, but it's it scored so Mo moving on to next week it's wit I can't remember. Witten next Saturday, is it? Witten next Saturday. Thoughts leading on to that. Obviously, they're sort of in the scrap with us at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. Well, Prescott are not in the scrap with us, are they? Do you know what I mean? Which yeah. is always going to be, you're coming to a team that's at the 11, 12, something in the table. So, 
It's never going to be a fantastic game. It's going to be a blood and thunder. I think the builds up this week on social media has been absolutely horrific. Do you know what I mean? It's been borderline personal with everyone. Do you know what I mean? And that, that, that's just social media involved. Edgar's gone to them. Liam Hollett's come to us. So I think it added extra spice. And look, that, that's, that's a derby. And it was a full body derby on the pitch. It was fantastic that way. Um, say moving forwards to next week, we'll welcome Whitlam. We'll, we'll look forward to playing them. Do you know what I mean? We'll we'll regroup, we'll train, and we'll go from that next week. Thanks so much for joining us, Mac. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.